Uh, the technique I wanted to show with the, the adjustment brush that I thought was pretty cool, I just learned this uh, a couple days ago. Uh, David Zeiser, if you've heard of him before, he's a wedding photographer that does a lot of uh, online little videos and tips. Um, he he uh, uses one with the adjustment brush to do kind of a painting of light. So you may do this kind of technique in Photoshop, but again, an advantage of doing this in Lightroom is it's non-destructive and you still have your source image and you can do virtual copies. So this was a picture of uh, twins, two little hands, uh, a friend of mine, you know, he's holding their hands. Not necessarily the best image, here's the twins as well. But, uh, you know, they were okay exposures, they were actually being really fussy, so we were lucky to get what we got. Um, but uh, if you wanted to make this more of a dramatic image, you know, there's a lot of different things that you might do. But the whole painting with light idea was that, you know, it often works really well if you want to make it a black and white, you can do that in the HSL type of arena, but we'll just make it uh, desaturated. But uh, what he did is he took the image itself and dropped it down to where you could almost not even see it. And it seems kind of counterintuitive, but you're taking that brightness and that exposure way down, and you're going into your adjustment brush, which, uh, you know, I use the quick key K to get to that. And I'm just going to go in on the exposure itself and then bring that back. I'm going to bring it up maybe a stop and a half, bring the brightness up a little bit. Um, you know, adjust my flow and my feather, uh, adjust my size there, um, and you're going to actually paint back on the exposure. And so you may have done this with lighting if you had time to deal with it, where you might have gridded your, your light so you get a real uh, focused light. Um, but, you know, with these fussy babies, I had a few minutes, so we moved on. So you can actually paint back on your exposure. Um, I'm going to bring that up a little bit more. And bring my, uh, your density was down, that was part of it as well. So. You can actually paint back on the light and the exposure where you want and get a real dramatic image. And, and you can change, like they're talking about, you can do multiple, uh, multiple uh, brushes. So you can come back on, maybe I want to expose this area just a little bit, but not quite as much. And then you can also, if you hold down the Option key on a Mac, I think it's the Alt key on the PC, um, you can actually go to erasing your brush away. And same kind of thing, you can change your flow, but let's say I wanted to bring that back out a little bit, I can use the erase. And you can get a real dramatic look uh, on that image. Yeah, and I actually have a very different technique than Scott. I don't keep big catalogs, and that's one reason we'll cover uh, keywording a little bit as well. I, what I tend to do, I, I do a lot of very project-oriented uh, things uh, where I'm, I'm not going to necessarily go back to it again real quick. So I will, uh, what I do is I keep one working catalog, and then when I'm done with a particular project, um, I will export that folder as a catalog and then store the catalog with the raw files, the DNGs that I had with it. So I, anytime I need to go back to that, I'll pull up that catalog for just those raw files and then work with them. And that's just my philosophy. I, I don't like having one big catalog with lots of them in there because I, I just want to keep them tight and together. Um, let me go real quick, uh, quick collection, I don't know if you use that much, I use that here real quick to pull up a few examples. Anything in your catalog, um, there's a little uh, circle in the top right that you can say quick collection or the quick key is B, um, we'll throw them into a quick collection. So it's real nice if you want to go across different folders, you can say, yeah, let me work with that image and then that image and then another image and just, if you put them in your quick collection, that's one more, uh, here I'm pointing like Scott, um, it's one, one more area that you can um, work with filtered images. 